Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Michael from Lux Trading. Today I'm going to talk about discipline, about how to practice discipline in your trading. I guess it's one of those things that a lot of traders, you know, have difficulty in and, you know, to have long term or even short, medium term success, you need to have discipline. What is discipline? It's control, control about, you know, risk management, over trading, how to control your emotions, how to control your fears, your greed, how to not oversize in a position. You know, there's so many criteria that you need to kind of check the box and constantly rinse and repeat and just remember that you need discipline to have long term success. So with no further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so getting started here, discipline. You know, discipline helps you stick to your trading plan and strategy consistently. It prevents impulsive and emotional decisions that can lead to poor trading outcomes. By following a well-defined plan, you can maintain a consistent approach and increase your chances of success. Just think about it. When you stop following your trading plan, you become rewarded for lack of discipline and you may start believing that abandoning your trading plan is no big deal. However, that's extremely far from the truth. An unjustified reward may increase your tendency to abandon trading plans in the future. You may be prone to think, hey, I was rewarded once, maybe I'll, re you know, I'll be rewarded again. I'll take another chance. But the positive outcomes of undisciplined trading are usually short-lived and a lack of discipline ultimately produces long-term trading losses. So it's important to distinguish justified wins from unjustified wins. Trading is a marathon, not a sprint. You should all remember this. Now, what do you think about risk management, right? Discipline is essential for effective risk management. It helps you set and adhere to appropriate risk reward ratios position sizes, stop loss levels. By managing risk diligently, you can protect your capital and minimize potential losses. Just think about all these traders out there that, you know, they take, let's say 10 trades and they don't know how to size in a position. They don't know what risk versus reward is. You know, they have no control of what they're doing. And in the law, in the short run, I mean, you're not really going to do well. You're going to be all over the place. You're going to be changing strategies. You're, you're going to change asset classes because one thing's not working. You're not going to give in, enough time to actually backtest simply because you don't know what you're doing. You don't may, you may, you may not even know how to backtest a strategy. You know, how long should it take to backtest a strategy? What are the strategies? Do you even understand what the strategies are? So you need to have discipline and organize your mind, organize yourself, understand what asset class you want to trade, understand what kind of capital are you working with, understand and control what risk you can take, right? So there's all a little steps and you constantly have to be educating yourself to get there you know, about, for example, your emotions. A lot of traders, they tend to ignore that this is also an emotional game, a psychological game. So, you know, trading can evoke strong emotions, uh, you know, such as fear, greed and impatience, right? Discipline helps you control these emotions and make rational decisions based on your trading plan and analysis. It prevents you from making impulsive trades driven by short term emotions, which can lead to poor results. Well, we've spoken about, you know, how important it is to, you know, have discipline in your risk management, how important it is to, you know, think about your emotions when you're trading. And now another one is avoiding over trading. You know, it's one of those things that discipline helps you avoid over trading, which is excessive trading without a clear strategy or purpose. 
you know, over trading can lead to increased transaction costs, reduced focus and lower overall profitability. So, you know, by sticking to your trading plan and being disciplined, you can avoid unnecessary trades and focus on high quality opportunities. And that's what you really need to do. Because, for example, you know, I'm a stock trader. And when I began, I traded a lot. I traded all day long and I over traded. I can assure you that. And one of the things I noticed was that, you know, when I found my edge and when I found what I was good at, it wasn't about taking more trades. It was actually in my mind and my analytics, it showed me my stats. It showed me that I needed to take less trades because I was paying, you know, very high commissions and, you know, it was just adding up. And what I needed to do is just learn how to size in with a bigger amount of, of uh, shares to be able to make a bigger profit, right? But risk management went hand to hand. So, you know, I couldn't just oversize too much and not understand how to, you know, risk versus reward would affect, you know, so discipline in many different criterias. But again, it's about not over trading because over trading is only going to lead you to blow up your account. You're going to pay too much commissions. You're going to, you know, you're going to get out of your way. You're not going to know what you're doing again. And you're going to get really, you know, it's, it's going to get very stressful very stressful. So, you know, be careful with over trading. So continuing here with discipline, with control. So avoid revenge trading. How many of you actually revenge trade? How many of you are going through a good, you know, week, month, you know, in trading, you're making, you're advancing, you're learning, you're you know, you're doing the right, the things the right way. You're making profits, maybe not too much, but you're there, you know, and you're getting there step by step. And suddenly you may, you get a big loss. And instead of cutting it and living to trade another day, you revenge trade, right? So many times when you're experiencing a loss, <clears throat> don't try to immediately recover it by taking impulsive trades because emotions can cloud judgment and lead to further losses, right? So, you know, many times it's important to take a step back, analyze the situation objectively and stick to your trading plan, right? Because in the end of the day, if first of all, if you have risk management and you know how much you're willing to risk, right? And let's say that in this case, you take a bigger uh, loss than you should have, Instead of doubling down or, you know, over trading and taking more trades because you want to get green, just stop right there. Really turn off the computer, leave the room, right? You know, come, the, come back the next day with a new opportunity, with a new plan, right? Because many times when you revenge trade, yeah, sometimes you'll get your money, you'll get back to green, but you know, 90% of the times you don't. And instead of having maybe 100, 200, whatever risk management you have, instead of having that small uh, red day, you may, you know, make that hole even bigger and have a thousand, two thousand uh, dollar red day. Maybe you blow up your account and then, you know, the emotions are going to come in and the stress is going to come in. So be careful with revenge trading. Okay, so more ways to, you know, working on your discipline is also to keep a trading journal, right? Maintaining a record of your trades, including the reasons behind each decision is very important. Review your journal regularly to identify the patterns of over trading and areas for improvement. Also, seek accountability, right? I mean, it's important to consider sharing your trading activities with a mentor or trading community or accountability partner. This can help you stay disciplined and accountable for your actions. Also very important is to take breaks and practice self-care. I mean, trading can be mentally and emotionally demanding, right? Take regular breaks, engage in activities you enjoy and prioritize self-care to maintain a clear and focused mindset. And again, 
continuously educate yourself, stay updated on the market trends, attend webinars or seminars, and read books or articles on trading psychology and discipline. Learning from experienced traders and seeking mentorship can also be beneficial. In summary, discipline is a key attribute for successful trading. It helps you maintain consistency, manage risk effectively, control your emotions, avoid overtrading, oversizing, revenge trading, and learn from your mistakes. By cultivating discipline in your trading approach, you can increase your chances of achieving long-term profitability and success. Okay, folks, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, practice your discipline. Keep educating yourself. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you all on the next one. Take care.